Celestial coordinates is one that uses the Earth as its reference. Ish. Globally, we have latitude and longitude. In celestial coordinates, the latitude equivalent is declination, and it starts where the equator of the Earth would normally be projected. The longitudinal equivalent is called right ascension, spreads similarly to a globe. Because the Earth is tilted, the plane of its revolution does not line up with its equator. This means, looking up, the Sun will trace a path that isn't in line with the equator. This is called the ecliptic, and it's about 23.5 degrees angled from the starting declination, and where they intersect will be taken as a 0.4 right ascension. Of course, there are two intersections, but Fun fact, all 12 signs of the zodiac appear on the ecliptic. One of these intersections lay in the constellation of Aries. No, Aries the sheep. Oh, well, never mind. Apparently, I'm still living 2000 years ago. It's now in the fish. So we have a starting as we go above or below the equator for declination, and another as we go around the... I'm going to call this the fish intersection as we go around the fish intersection. 